In this session, we are going to see about the different types of valves, pumps and stream tap that is being used in the industries. So, the aim of the session is to again understand the process design where you will be involving the various types of pumps, valves and and the introduction to the process design and to apply the introduction to process design. See process design will be involving all the equipment. So, these are all the equipments what we are going to discuss in the pra, 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 following slide. We will give you an idea how to design the process. Okay. So, first we will talk about the valves. So, what is the purpose of a valve? The valve is a device which is used to control regulate the flow. So, valve is mainly used to control the flow which in the system or a process. So, there are various types of valves available and they have different functions. So, valve can be used to control like liquid, solid, gases, anything in between. So, so there are some valves which are made up of stainless steel, some they are all made up of PVC. So, the material differs. Starting or stopping flow based on the valve state, regulating flow and pressure within the piping system, controlling the direction of the flow, throttling the flow rate, improving the safety. See safety valve is there even in the pressure cooker where the pressure cooker safety is being maintained based upon the valve. So, the functions of the valve is very, very important. Regulating the flow, pressure, changing the direction, controlling the direction, throttling, safety purpose. So, some of the different types of valve used in the industries are gate valve, globe valve, check valve and safety valve. So, you can see the appearance of the gate wall, globe wall, check wall and safety wall. So, each wall have their own function and they have been used at different uh, piping system based on the requirement. So, now we move on to the pump. The pump is a mechanical device where it moves the fluid, it may be either a liquid or a gas from one place to another. So, based on the application, there have been categorized into various type. One is centrifugal pump the other one is positive displacement pump. The centrifugal pump or most common pump used in industry, most of the industry have this type of centrifugal pump. Inside the centrifugal pump, you will be having an impeller which will create a rotational or a centrifugal force. That centrifugal force is used to move the liquid from one place to another. So, centrifugal pump is mainly based upon the centrifugal force. Most of the pump is been used in water supply. HVA system and irrigation. The second type is positive displacement pump where the fixed volume of fluid is transferred from one place to another. So, in under that we will be having a reciprocating pump, rotary pump and diaphragm pump. Reciprocating pump usually has a piston or diaphragm to create the reciprocating motion. Rotary pump will have a rotary mechanism such as gear, vane or screw arrangement. The diaphragm pump is have a flexible diaphragm where you can use the abrasive that is whichever fluid is very corrosive that type of material will be handled by using diaphragm pump because if you use a corrosive material, if you use a reciprocating pump or a centrifugal pump, it will be keep on corroded by that abrasive liquid. So, in that cases, if you are handling an acid, sulfuric acid or HCl, you need to give the diaphragm pump for transportation. So, the other type of pumps are gear pump, vane pumps, screw pumps, peristatic pumps, jet pumps, air diaphragm pump, piston pump and electromagnetic pump. So, these are all the various types of pump used in the industry based on the requirement. So, some of the figures are shown here of the various types of pumps and their uses. So, you can see the appearance of the centrifugal pump, inside there is an impeller gear pump they are having two gears, in between the two gears the fluid enters and leaves out. Plunger pump will have a plunger inside and you can see the reciprocating pump where you will be having a piston, the diaphragm pump. So, when you see these type of appearance, you can come to a conclusion what type of pump it is and why it is used. Okay. Next is the steam trap. Another important device the steam trap is a mechanical device used in the steam to remove the condensate and non-condensable gases. So, there are various stream tap used, thermostatic stream tap, mechanical stream tap, thermodynamic stream tap, bimetallic stream tap and inverted bucket stream tap. 
and other type is venturi, fixed orifice, disc stir, ball float, steam trap. So, the various steam traps are used, they are mostly used to remove the condensate from the pipeline wherever you are using the steam because for sterilization we will be using the steam in the fermentation industry. So, in the every fermentation industry where we are following the sterilization, we will have different types of stream tap for the removal of the condensate in the pipeline because the pipeline will travel from one distance to another, possibilities are there for the condensation of the uh, steam. So, that should be removed at regular interval so that we are using the stream tap. If it is not done, then it will lead to the hammering of the pipeline that is dangerous for the pipeline. So, some of the stream tap is being given here. So, so, for plant design, the selection of wall, the stream tap and the pump also plays a crucial role. So, that is the reason we are discussing the different types of wall, different types of uh, uh, that is stream tap and the different types of pump. So, before selection of each and every pump, we need to understand what type of material is being used to use for the pumping, okay. Thank you.